Hi guys, um, it's just basically an update on me um, today and I am not very good at the moment. I've got an infection in my ear, both of them. I've got infection in my hands with my eczema, can you see? So I'm on cream, what the doctors give me. Uh, plus, I'm on that stuff for your ears again. Um, also on depression tablets, which I start to take tomorrow. And, cool long story short, guys, I'm very run down. Not very well at all. Um, I cried in the doctors today. Um, they are going to help me to sort my money out. Um, I've got to go to Citizen Advice Bureau. Um, I've got a lot of paperwork which I've got to take and get that sorted. Find out which benefit is paying me because at the moment my money's on hold. Yes, guys. Um, I was very stressed out today. Very, oh, you name it. Because when I went in to sign on and I sort of looked at me, and would you say, well, are you sure you're signing on today? And I said, yes. I'm signing on today. It's on my card. And I went in, basically. And even the woman was confused about me signing on. And so... Oh, she's a bugger. Sorry, guys. Cool long story short. I signed on. Blah, 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 blah. Then I found out that apparently my money... Well, guys... My money is on hold because I do not know if income support are paying me or the job centre. Now, as soon as I go to Citizen Face Bureau Monday, I will get to know. And I rang her up today, the person who's dealing with it. And she is sorting it out for me. And she's basically asked me how I'm coping. I said, I'm not coping very good. Um, since after Dougie's died, bless him. And guys, you know I'm not coping. You know I'm not. I have had to ask my dad to blend stuff. I mean, I'm coming up to 45, guys. I don't need to ask my dad for stuff. I have to have my own money. Do you know what I mean? I feel bad for doing it, but what can I do? And another good thing that's happened today when when she said about my coping and all that, and she said, I said to her, I'm not coping with my bills, so I've got to take all my debt letters down on Monday, get that sorted, and hopefully... I shouldn't have to go on that course on Tuesday. I don't really want to go to on the course on Tuesday because I'm not very well. I've had to cancel my swimming tomorrow. I'm going to show you the tablets I am on. I've just took two today. Whoa. And I'm kicking in already. Oh, my poor leg. I'm actually going to have a date tomorrow to myself. Um, I'm basically I'm going to tidy the whole kitchen get it all cleaned wipe down the whole unit do the same with the front room because I'm just getting sick of tired looking at it these are the depression oh I can you see properly in the light these are the depression tablets I'm on for, lo for lux I think it's for lux a time something they're the ones I'm on. Um, I've got these ones to take. They're for my st the stomach. Stop it feeling gassy all the time. And these are the ones my painkillers are on. That's all my paperwork. <laughs> that is all my paperwork ready to go to... CAB. 
on Monday. Yeah, man, I'll start smoking again, but um, it's like my district nurse said, because I rang her up today, just told her basically I've had a tough week with the job centre on Tuesday. You know I have, guys, and and also I had a tough week on Tuesday, like I said, the job centre when they put up me in tears, and she said, I was smoking getting on, and I said, well, cut long story short, uh, I said to her, Shirley, Shirley's her name, and I said to her, I goes, um, I started again. She said, well, that's all right. She said, just go and chill and have a cigarette. So I did. And it did help me. It actually did help me because I've been so stressed out with everything. Seeing them on Tuesday and Aaron's trying to be friends with me again and stuff like that. That's in my other video. And I just wanted to do a little video about me for a change. I'm taking a break after the weekend, but um, I will be doing some vlogging videos when I'm down at my mum's, because I'm going out for the day Saturday, so I'll be probably doing some vlogging videos then. Uh, I, don't, I don't know where we're going. My dad is taking me out for the day. Um, probably going to be me, depending on the weather. Um, Sunday I'm going horse riding so I'm going to learn how to horse ride which I've always wanted to but whether my joints can do it but that's what Shirley said just be careful with my joints and stuff and it'll give me good exercise a little bit and good confidence and stuff like that and I'll be having my meal at Mam's on Sunday so I've got a quite busy weekend I don't know when I get paid again, but I know I get paid next Wednesday with my DLA, and so I'll be get be able to pay bills then. I'm going to have to let Provident know and tell them I'm not getting paid this week till when my money is sorted. So the go it's going to have to be on hold. Yes, I know I'm going to be in debt with them, but it's going to have to be on hold. I can't help that till I know what's going on. Which is logical, because I do not know if job centres pay me. I do not know if income supports pay me. I'm on the 6th to the 23rd of February. And I can't get a medical letter yet as such. So I've got to remind myself on Monday to tell them at the CAB what type of a letter they need to write like from the doctors what um how what condition of mine is getting worse basically well i can tell you what condition of mine is getting worse it's my leg because i struggle today around the town and uh, my back and my eczema and basically everyday life of being disabled it's getting worse for me. My condition can get worse because I have been told this. DI George syndrome can get worse when I get older. I don't know what to expect, guys. It can go either way. It can make me better or it can make me worse. I do not know. I don't know all the information because all they said to me at the hospital just as I said had DI George syndrome. Which is very complicated in life. And my life is complicated. I do not know what's going to happen from day to day. And it's like I said to her, in the morning, I get up. I don't know what, what to do. My head hurt, hurts in the morning. I just honestly don't know what to do anymore. Do you know what I mean, guys? And... I have to think what what I'm doing on, on the day. And if I did, if 
I did get a job. Who's going to look after my pets? This is what my district nurse said. She turned around to me and she said to me, she said, why don't I say to the job centre, will you get me a job? Instead of them hassling me to get me a job, I mean, to get, I have to get a job. Why don't they turn around? Why don't they get me a job? What I can do? Do you know what I mean? What I want to do. And the things, what I've said to them in my job search, what I want to do, they've turned around and said, well, you're not going to get a job out of that. Um, well, I'm still looking for a job, aren't I? They really confused me the other day. Really confused me. Because there's not many things I can do. And there's not... Do you know what I mean, guys? There isn't a lot of things I can do. I mean, I'm struggling even to try and keep my house on top. Which, tomorrow, I'm going to do my house. Right through. I'm going to start from the bottom, work to the top. Simple as. And... And my son said hello. Wait on. Ah, oh, sugar. Oh, no, it did it. Our Facebook's been playing up today. Yeah, and I'm going to do my house up. So, guys, I'm going to have to go up because I'm talking to my son now. Um, Marcus, hi Marcus, and it's my update, and I'm having a break, so I love you lords, be cool, be happy, stay tuned, next time I see you, bye guys.